Lauren, thank you. Now we're going to send it over to Ken Bowden joining us live at Fort Carney, who's talking to one talented piano player. Yes, indeed. Very good, Ken. Yes. Yes, he is. And, you know, Kevin is a hardcore hunter. He came to Nebraska from Taiwan six years ago and is hooked on all sorts of hunting. And Kevin is having a performance coming up in Kearney this Sunday. Mm -hmm. It's 7 p.m. At, the, at the Kearney First United Methodist Church. And it's free. Mm -hmm. I'm, uh, I am doing my best to uh, either get a sponsor to help me to cover the cost or sometimes I just uh, pay for it myself and hoping that the free will donation will help me to cover it, all the costs I have. And your goal is for people to enjoy classical music and the beautiful music that you play and experience what that's all about. Um, I, I always feel like uh, in, this, uh, in Nebraska, people hasn't got exposed to great classical music enough. So a lot of time when you tell people, well, there is a classical uh, music performance, the first question they always ask is, does it cost money? And by making it free, at least there is a chance that that person might be curious enough to come and listen. And only if one actually listened to some of the uh, real great music, uh, they will actually know that classical music isn't the sleepy music that people often right. associate with. And you memorize, you know, 60 minutes at a time, and you memorize all this music. It usually um, don't, uh, like, I never tried memorize it. It's very interesting that if you practice the same music for 300, 400 times, then somehow you realize you don't look at music anymore. Uh -huh. Well, you're, you've got quite a talent, and people really need to come out and see Kevin this weekend. You're also planning some events coming up next year tentatively. Mm -hmm. On March 4th next year, um, it is a Sunday in Central City. At 3 o'clock, we'll be doing a big full-blown symphony orchestra concert. In Central City. Mm -hmm. All right. Kevin Chang, thanks for joining us. Kevin's at UNK. He is phenomenal. And if you've never heard music behind me while I do the weather, that's the treat tonight. Your first alert weather with accompaniment. And we'll have more on that coming up. What a talented young man. Oh, yeah. Kenton, your weather, just hold your voice down. We want to hear the music a little bit there. Yeah. If you, if you could. Okay. Just, just... I'll try to keep it a little soft. <laughs> <laughs> He's All something right. else. Thanks so much. Still coming your park. way on NTV News. <laughs> There's so much information after being diagnosed with cancer. When we come back, we take a closer look at some things you can do to decipher through all that info. And the Huskers facing Ohio State. Stay with us for your latest sports news. NTV, where your news comes first. With Seth Denny, Colleen Williams, Kent Bowden Weather, and Dave Greig Sports. This is NTV News at 6. Time now for NTV First Alert Weather with Chief Forecaster Kent Bowden. We are live at Fort Kearney as musical talent, pianist, and classical musician Kevin Chang plays in the background. Well, it's really not that bad out right now. Clouds are moving in, rain chances increase, but not until after midnight in the Tri-City area. Humidity factors will be quite high, and that could mean fog first thing tomorrow morning, and definitely a pickup as far as the wind is concerned in the afternoon. In the afternoon, storm chances, isolated storms in the forecast. We only see about 54 degrees midday. Our highs will be 63. And we still see some fairly warm 60s across portions of Nebraska up into South Dakota, but mainly 50s further to our west. Well, we do have that cold front has moved down into Kansas, stalling out low pressure in Kansas and that is going to be responsible for some of the rain, but it's a system northwest of us that is headed our way along with another cold front that will really bring the rain chances tomorrow. Rain is likely with storms in the Lincoln area throughout the day, 
chances do taper down Saturday night. And Kevin is quite the hunter, and tomorrow morning I'm going duck hunting, so I threw this in, and it is sunrise uh, in the morning, 743, and we do see the chance of isolated storms, of course, those winds picking up. Lows tonight will be in the 30s out west, 40s and 50s elsewhere. Tomorrow's highs will be 60s, these 50s in the west. The Tri-City area sees that chance of rain after midnight fog in the morning. And then in the afternoon, 40% the odds for storms. Skies clear off tomorrow night in the Tri-Cities. It just gets cold. That wind doesn't die down, 35 below. Winds gusting to 40 miles an hour. But things do clear off. Sunshine, 64 on Sunday. Cold overnight lows, but at least the winds go away. And a beautiful week ahead of us as highs for all of next week into Friday. Sunshine, nice and dry. And 70s is what we expect. Man, that kid can play Seth and Colleen. It's amazing. You know, you don't think of somebody playing classical music as being a hardcore hunter, but it does happen in Nebraska, of course, one of the uh, mixed bag capitals of the world as far as hunting is concerned. So he came to the right place and we're sure glad to have him. Uh, do you think he practices much? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think that's a safe assumption. We'll talk to you guys later. Okay. I can't hear very well. All right. Thanks, kid. I'm getting old. Oh, no. Still coming your way on, on uh, NTP News at 6, a follow-up.